One of the things that I've found is that I don't hit ground balls off into my fielders. I prefer to roll them. I prefer to have small control drills where I can increase the repetition and I can also monitor their body position, their footwork, how they attack the ball, how they field the ball. One of the drills we use is real simple. We have our fielder taking his glove off, no glove whatsoever. Good low position, thinking about his triangle, getting his hand out. We have his teammate roll the ball sharply and he rolls it right back. Keep going, just keep going right back as quick as you can, right back and forth. Stay in that position. What this does, in addition to repeating the motion, it also gets his legs used to feeling what it feels like to be in a good fielding position. It is not an easy position to stay in. A lot of young fielders avoid it because it's not comfortable. This drill forces him to be down, gets his legs in shape, and allows him to see what it feels like to do it. Another drill that we have, go ahead and stop, guys. Grab your glove, Jake. Very similar positions, again with a teammate, with a friend. Go ahead and get down in your fielding position. And what we're going to do here is we're going to throw short hops into Jake's glove, and he's going to be aggressive with his glove and attack through the ball. So just like that, again in a good fielding position, butt low, knees bent, head up. Notice he's in a good attacking position. Nice hands there, Jake. And he attacks the ball outward. A lot of coaches, a lot of old-time coaches like to teach a more passive glove position. I just feel sometimes with young players that doesn't work. I like to see it, players attack the ball with their glove, going through it, being real aggr aggressive. So we work the center of his body. Hold on one second, Vinny. Then we turn, turn your feet a little bit this side, and we go to the left side of his body. Go ahead. Okay. Again, attacking glove on the outside of the body, just like that. Notice each time that he catches it, he brings the ball back into the center of his glove so he's ready to field and throw. One more from here, and then we're going to go to backhands. Now we're going to go to Jake's right side, and he's going to turn, and he's going to attack the ball again with his glove, just like that, in a good backhand position. Again, I like these drills because you can get a lot of reps, a lot of time, a lot of repeat motions, a lot of the same things, and you can encourage your players to learn how to do it without thinking. Just as easy as that. One more time. Good job.